Um, but it is gold metallic. It is beautiful. I... Oh. And the packaging, the outside packaging. I brought it up close already, but I'll do it again. It's got this lovely drip effect with sugar pill label. This is what the actual tube looks like sort of metallic which means it's having a hard time showing up on camera but it's got sugar pill around the um cap and uh it is a liquid lipstick it is super pigmented i'm gonna come up close I did a full mouth of it in the store, but you can see how pigmented that is on the lips. Uh, I'm. It was eighteen dollars, nineteen with tax, and it is excellent, superb. The other thing in the Macy's bag is actually from Macy's, and it is this sweater. This sweater was on clearance. This is an extra large, but it just says peachy on the front. There's this cute ruffle detail at where the shoulder is. I'm gonna bet that this is an oversized shoulder, so this part is gonna be right about there on me. But it's uh, a nice pink, not too vibrant, a little pastel. It's super cute. It's very comfy, peachy. Peachy keen. Um, the next bag I'm gonna go through is this Hot Topic bag. There was a sale at Hot Topic, and holy cow, did uh, was I maybe a little bit um wowed? Uh, this is from the Her Universe. I no, it's just it's not from Her Universe pretty sure it was from her universe. No, it's just the exclusive Hot Topic collection for Over the Garden Wall. This is the Greg base dress. It's got a side zip. It has lace on the back. And when you come up close, there are these bird, blue bird, obviously, blue bird um, buttons. And then it has pockets and the pockets have this tea kettle and um rock fact rock and um frog jason funderburker embroidery detail both of the pockets have the same one it's just mirrored um it is about knee length on me it was 40 percent off dresses so i just bought one there was actually a couple other ones from the Over the Garden Wall collection. There was the Beatrice one, which is most, it's blue um, with an overskirt, and the overskirt is plain blue, and the underskirt is printed with um, a sort of ruffled part of the bust. Um, it's cute, but not quite me. And the, the other Over the Garden Wall dress they had was the wine one, which has, um, sort of uh it's again strapped not sleeved and it has sort of like you see how this one has a line going down the front it has the line going down the front panel and a line going down the front with buttons and um then the skirt has a cameo print with mostly scenes from bakersville bakersville uh, um, from the first village they go into, it has the big pumpkin-headed person, and it has some of the skeletons, and it has that first scene where we zoom out, and there's Greg and Wirt in the forest, but those are black and white cameos on a red dress, and I figured I would wear this one more. I'm gonna use my super cheap petticoat underneath it just to fill it out a little bit 
Um, it's, it's cute. Um, it was not inexpensive and like the details are a little more subtle so I had to figure out what this one was um, a little bit more so I, th I feel a little bit like I can use it in my everyday life I say as though I'm not wearing an access family dress at this moment um, the other things I got from Hot Topic were the new Pusheen blind boxes. These are, of course, the Surprise Plush. Um, they're, they're sort of um, every other... They're supernatural creatures. Um, there's unicorns, mermaids, um, pegasus... A sort of devilly imp, um, in fact, two devilly imps, and then um, the mystery one. But I'm gonna bring the box up here. I got three of these at full price because I have no impulse control, and also I really do love the pristine lined plushes. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just really quick open these. One of them, someone had started to open the top, but I did not. Okay. The first one. Oh! It's... Oh! Okay. I'm not sure how to describe this one. It's got... I think it might be supposed to be a dragon. In fact, I think it... I'm pretty sure now that I look at it, it's supposed to be a dragon, but it's stormy which means it's the fleecy plush. We've got wings. We've got a little sort of um, spade tail. They have spines going up the back and if you get really, really close, you can see they have little horns in their fluff. Um, then there's, oh, oh. Somebody might have actually opened this one and it was taped closed by the staff. So that's, yeah, somebody did open this one. Okay, it is, it's Pegasus Pusheen. Uh, little white Pusheen. There's a pink mane. There's a pink tail. There's cute little tiny wings. And then for the last one, I'm just really hoping I don't get doubles. That's, that's the real monster here. Um. Oh, and it is the unicorn pushing. So that is, okay, I'll bring, I'll bring her up close. There's a little horn, rainbow mane, multicolored tail, regular sideways pushing style. Oh, that's unicorn, pegasus, dragon. Nice. Um, no doubles. I also picked up one more thing from Hot Topic, and that's this Ocean Sea Geode Soap. Um, these are really pretty. I picked this up for Laura um, because last time we were at the mall, Laura had expressed liking gemstone soap, but um, it's just a regular, regular sort of soap. It smells kind of oceany, I think. It, of the three types of this they had, this one smelled the best. They also had like unicorn blood and no, unicorn tears and dragon blood. But uh, I liked, I liked this one best. I'm gonna bring it up close again. But you can sort of see into it. It's very pretty. Um, Laura has no idea I got that gonna stay that way until I surprise them. 
Um, the last things I got were from Forever 21. I actually spent not an indecent amount at Forever 21, but it was getting things that are really kind of basic. Kind of, kind of really basic. The first thing is this Boba Tea t-shirt. I'm gonna bring them up close. Oh yeah, it's three colors of Boba Tea in various, I guess, levels of being drunk, but it's, it's cute. Um, in Japan, they don't really do like icon, like graphic tees. They do all over prints and they don't really show shoulders. So I figured this was a good basic shirt. It's very lightweight, so I feel pretty comfortable wearing it considering how humid it's going to be when I'm going. And it's cute and so it'll make even a casual outfit a little bit um, sweeter. I also got these socks. Um, there are the ones in navy and the ones in light blue, but they're both seashells. I've been into marine prints recently, so I figured those were a good investment. And along the same vein, there's these navy and white striped ones with red anchors. Um, just, just cute socks, I guess. Um, I got this one, two, three, four, five pack of socks. It has the primary colors in pastels. It has heather gray and white, um, but these are just regular sort of ankle socks. Uh, I got this top. Um, this is not from the plus size section. This is actually from the like normal size section. It's a large and the fit is pretty tight. In fact, when I wear it, they, um, the buttons pull a lot, but, um, there are some things I can do to fix that. One, I can move the buttons. I don't particularly care about it though. It does have the sort of inner panel. I'm gonna bring that closer. The inner panel section. So even when it pulls the buttons taunt, you can't see past the blouse or shirt top thing. It's cute. It's a crop top. I've never owned a crop top before trying this on. It was probably the most risque thing I have put on my body in the history of ever. It's just, it was super cute. It has shearing and I got it in the large size, the largest size that it came in. It, um, I'm not sure what else there is to say about it. It's just, it's just a top. Um, machine wash cold, do not bleach, tumble dry low, iron low, do not dry clean, wash and dry with light colors. It's just, I guess it's a regular sort of top. Um, I got very excited when I saw that it had shearing. Honestly, this reminds me of some of the things that you can see at Ren Fair, frankly, with the, um, the way the seams go up the front and it's just, it's cute. Um, there are three more things in this bag and I'm gonna start with this one. Uh, this is a tiara. There were two of this kind of tiara but the other one was missing some of the gemstones. I got the one that had all of the gemstones even though some of these are a little coming out. Um, but I have super glue and can fix that. It's cute um, with the way I wear my Hime bangs. It's, you put it in your hair like that. So it's just at the front of the part. Um, I've been looking for a cheap sort of tiara thing to wear with over the top, <laughs> over the top Lolita cords, I guess. There's just some times where I really want to go full Hima and, uh, now I can. <laughs> um, the last two items are just very simple cami tops. They're, um, 
this sort of cami. I got these. They're size large. I would have liked if there were extra large ones, but considering that they're meant to be worn underneath clothes, I figure they can cling really tight to my body and I won't care about it. Because they're just to protect or cover for really thin t-shirts. By the way, the boba tee t-shirt is very thin and that is initially why I got these. I could, when I tried on the boba tee t-shirt, I could see the black lines of my bra. I could see the black straps and all of the black parts of my bra underneath the shirt and I didn't like that. These are probably the first camis I've ever owned, which tells you sort of about how I was raised. But um, I got one in regular white and I got one in this sort of um, the lightest. They had a very pinky skin tone and then they had this one. Um, this one is actually pretty I'm gonna bring up my arm. Ugh. This one is a little lighter than my skin tone, but um, it's meant to be neutral and worn under other clothes, so I don't care. Um, thank you for joining me for this haul. I had a really good time today hanging out with Kyra. Laura didn't come with us. Um, and I just... I really appreciated having a nice day out. Um, I spent a whole lot of money, but that's usually how it goes. Honestly, there's a little part of me that's regretted not having gotten the wine over the garden wall dress too. Um, I'm glad I got the one that I did. It, it's just, I wish I wish I could have, like, guaranteed how much money I had so I could have gotten both of them, you know? Um, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like, um, any of the things that I brought, please comment in the link, uh, the, the, comment in the comment section. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Please subscribe, and I hope you have a really good day. Bye! That was perfect pause. That confused visage. Tiger. The boy is camera shy. And... Here you go.